Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Beyblade Burst Rise Slingshock Phantom Dragger. Here is the box, as you can see I got it from the 5 and Below store. And also on the back says it's a bounce type. So take a look at the back. Uh, you notice it's got a similar gimmick. You can, you can change the tip to a wider size on the bottom. It's actually got three different settings. So this video may be a doozy compared to the previous two. As you can see, it's got a similar design to Crystal Dranzer. So let's pit these two against each other. But first let's do some test shots with Dragger. I know it comes with its own uh, launcher. I'm going to try using the string launcher because that's when I'm most comfortable using it in my reviews. Also, I don't have to put in the ripcord every time I launch it. This just retracts automatically. I'm going to try the uh, sharpest tip first. I speculate that this will stay in the center like a stamina type. Because stamina types are usually sharp. And, as expected, it's staying in the center right now. Alright, so let's try it in the wider setting. You pull this out, uh, get in the second widest uh, tip. Let's test this out. I think it will move around a bit more since it's wider. Yeah, it is moving around a bit more, but not to the... Well, it's not hitting the sides of the stadium. It's not as wide as some attack type tips. So, yeah, that's going towards the center. Let's try this. I th All right, the biggest tip, and I think this will have the widest radius of movement here, so. It's moving around more erratically, but it's not hitting the sides of the stadium, so that's good. All right, so we're going to be testing out out uh, with against Crystal Drones. I'm going to launch this from this, from the same string launcher, because this was an absolute menace in the last two reviews so let's okay. these are both balance types so should be interest should be a good round to watch let's Like John's are one. So, let's try it again. All right, let's try one more time. Right, I'm going to try the same thing again, but this time I'm going to use them from different launchers. Oops, didn't shoot right that time.
All right, we're going to try it again, but we're going to launch the dragger first. again I think Johnzer is a stronger top here so let's try with the second widest tip here I'm going to do the, now we're going to be launching these from the same launcher again. Ooh, looks like drones are one. Let's try this again. Okay, Phantom Dragger won that one. But I think that was not fair because it landed on top of Dronzer that time. So let's try again and see if we get the same result. Looks like they're swirling. Which I find boring. But it also confirms they're sort of the same speed now. again. Ooh. That was intense. Try it in the opposite. Try these off two different launchers, but in the opposite order. Uh, Drones are second, and Phantom Dragger first. So there's less of a delay between these two are launched, so we'll get a better idea of which bay is stronger. Drawns are one again. So what we're going to do is turn this here, switch the tip out one last time into an attack type, uh, or as close as it can get to an attack type. Let's try again, uh, both off of the same launcher this time. All the Slingshock bays I reviewed, I think Phantom Dragger is the most evenly matched with Dranzer, even if it's not quite as good. We'll try this again. Ah. 
Ouch. Okay, Dronzer seems to be the better bay when we have it, when it's not using its slingshot mode. So let's pull this tip out. Now I think it'll, it has much less stamina in this mode. So I think we'll be seeing Phantom Dragger win more. And um, we'll go back to using two different launchers this time for both of them. Because Dronzer is much weaker in slingshot mode, even though it's more aggressive. Okay, try again. to call it now so where did my where did the top layer go they seem to be evenly matched now let's see what happens if we try launching the phantom dragger second Okay, Dragger won that one. That wasn't fair, because it landed on top of the drowns there. When it landed. Okay, I think these are two... I think these are evenly match now so let's try the wider uh narrower tip it looks like with the narrow tip narrower tip this has a lot more stamina so it's just able to outlast Dranzer. Let's try launching Dranzer second. Ooh, looks like a tie. Let's try it again. It looks like the drowns are lasted a bit longer this time.
whoops, that was a mislaunch. Again. These two are evenly matched again, but I think if you're lucky, Drodzer could hit Phantom Dragger enough, so Dragger stops spinning first, so let's try it back with the balance type. We'll see if... tie that time. Whoops, it keeps falling unless you're holding it completely uh, perpendicular to the ground. So, all in all, I think this time Dragger is the better bay this time around. But once again, it's definitely possible for Dronzer to hit it enough to make the Dragger stop spinning. Because obviously it has the most stamina when you're using the smallest, sharpest tip. And Dronzer has much less stamina in Slingshock mode. It's definitely weaker in Slingshock Mode. However, I think Dronzer is best, definitely the best of the Slingshock bays that I bought from Five Below. Uh, these two are definitely the best. If you want to, if you had to get any two of the previous four Slingshock bays I reviewed, get these two. They're evenly matched, but I think Dronzer just sort of edges it out between these two. Really like how Fam Dragger has three different tips. The problem I did have with it is it fell off the launcher, uh, so that only one prong was still in it. It could still launch fine. However, I did find it annoying. However, I do think these two bays are very cool, and this one's very Drones is very special to me because it's the first bay blade I had. As a child, please like this video, and if you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it from our review. Bye.